everyone and welcome. I've been looking at adding a chainsaw to my preparedness equipment and the one that I was looking at is made by Salem Master and I've never heard of Salem Master products and I read a few of the reviews and some of them were hit and miss but what stood out to me about the chainsaw was the colors I guess because I'm a child of the 70s and 80s I like that yellow red and black paint scheme that they had with it so when Amazon Prime Day came they had that particular chainsaw on sale for like $30 cheaper than what it normally retails for so I bought it so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna do an assembly test and review of the Salem Master Chainsaw and I'm gonna test it on some of these 8 inch cedar beans that somebody gave me so let's open the box and see what's inside so this is the chainsaw that I bought the Salem Master Pro 5820G 18 inch guide bar 58cc so now I'm gonna open the box and see what all comes with it So here's the bar and the cover. The manual. The jug for measuring the gas and the oil. The chain. tool kit and of course the chainsaw itself I went to their website and downloaded the PDF manual and made like a booklet with it complete with the assembly pictures inside the tool kit it's got a screwdriver combo tool and the screwdriver is to adjust the tension on the chain and to tighten the nuts up on the bar little screwdriver Allen wrench And it even comes with a chainsaw file. So the first thing you do is pull the chain brake back. Then undo the two nuts on the cover. I hope you can see the cutting edge of the teeth nice and this faces away from the chainsaw itself. Next, install your bar. With the chain loosely fitted around the bar, I'm now going to add the cover. And there's a pin right here that actually fits right here into the bar. And you got to make sure those line up before you tighten everything up. To get the adjustment pin into the bar, I had to take and adjust the pin all the way in, then fit the cover on there. Now I'm ready to put the nuts on there and kind of finger tighten them. Now that I got the bar installed in the chain, I'm gonna add a little bit of tension to it. And that looks about right. With the chainsaw assembled, I'm now ready to put my bar oil in and my 25 to one mixture of gasoline. Now I'm gonna to try to start it up. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so cutting down that little tree was not only fun, but a necessity. But it doesn't really show anything as far as how well this Salem Master Chainsaw is gonna work. Another reason why I bought this chainsaw is that somebody gave me this. Now these beams are eight inches wide, eight inches thick, and they're about five and a half feet long. And they also gave me this piece right here. It is six inches wide and 52 inches long. And I think that the reason why they gave it to me is because quite honestly, nobody has anything that they could use to cut this down into any you know, usable size. And that's another reason why I bought this chainsaw while it was on sale is so that I could cut these pieces down and make usable material out of them. So with that out of the way, you can see where I've got a line drawn down this piece right here. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to split this piece down into like a four by eight section. And then I can go across the top of it and cut it down and make some strips out of it for table legs.
So here's my first attempt at milling lumber with a chainsaw and no guide. And the Salem Master Chainsaw worked really well. And like I said, this is not perfect by any means, but it will allow me to get it on a table saw once I get it cut down a little bit more and turn it into usable lumber. Whereas before this was just hunks of cedar. So there's my review of the Salem Master 18 inch 58cc chainsaw. And I really couldn't find any negatives to the chainsaw. And it comes with a lot of the accessories and features that you'd find on a higher end chainsaw. So if you're looking to add a chainsaw to your preparedness equipment and don't want to spend a lot of money on it, I would recommend the Salem Master Chainsaw. Well, thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time.